Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bozork, and in this video, I want to talk about the second part of meshing and partitioning in Abacus. This is the table of content. I will talk about modeling domains, creating mesh on 2D domains, several kinds of mesh patterns, steps of creating a desired mesh pattern in Abacus Mesh module, introduction of several useful and practical tools of mesh module, creating several mesh patterns, and finally I will talk about conclusions. We have two kinds of domains, 2D domains and 3D domains. 3D domains include 3D solids, and we can mesh 3D solids by using tetrahedral, wedge, and hexahedral elements. 2D domains are present in 2D space and 3D space. In 2D space, 2D domains are 2D planar regions and axisymmetric regions. And in 3D space, 2D domains includes 3D conventional shells. And we must use triangular and quadrilateral elements for meshing 2D regions. In 2D domains, even in the most complicated cases, there is no need for any kind of partitioning to create quadrilateral elements on these domains. But for designing a desired mesh pattern using partitioning is inevitable. In this tutorial, several kinds of mesh patterns will be created on a simple 2D domain, and you will be familiar with the meshing and partitioning strategies in 2D domains. In this tutorial, I will create five different mesh patterns on the same geometry. The geometry is a 2D square. This is pattern 1, this is pattern 2, this is pattern 3, this is pattern 4, and this is pattern 5. Pattern 3 and pattern 2 are the same, but we use different methods for creating the same pattern. I start from pattern 1 that is very simple. At first, I create a 2D planar and deformable shell and I name it part 1. It is a square. Now I go to the abacus environment to create the part 1. 2D planar deformable shell and I create a square. I go back to the slides. I want to talk about the steps of creating the desired mesh pattern in Abacus Mesh module. At first, you must create the partitions. Then you must create seeds on the edges of the geometry. Then you must determine the meshing algorithm in each partition of the geometry. And finally, you must create the mesh. After creating the mesh, you must ask yourself whether you have reached the desired mesh pattern or not. If yes, the steps are finished successfully. But if no, some modifications must be performed on three steps. Sometimes you must perform modifications in all of the three steps, but sometimes you only need to perform modification on one of the steps. Here I want to talk about three useful and common tools of mesh module. This is seat part tool. By using this tool, 
you can determine the global size of elements in the geometry. This is Sit Edge tool. By using this tool, you can determine the size and bias of elements of each edge. We use bias in regions that we want the change of size of elements. For example, on an edge, we want that from left side of the edge to right side of the edge, the size of elements decrease or increase. For performing this kind of pattern, we must use bias and make this pattern. This is the mesh controls tool. By using this tool, you can choose the element types and meshing algorithm. Here, I want to create the first pattern. It is very simple. For creating this pattern, I only use the seed part tool and I want to create the elements of size 10. I go to the abacus to create this pattern. I go to the mesh module. I use seed part. The size of element must be 10. Here you can see that white seeds are created on all of the edges. They are white and their shape is circle, white circles. They are seeds that are created by using seed part tool. Now I mesh the part. Here the first pattern is created. I go back to the slides. For creating the second pattern, I create a copy from part 1 and I name it part 2. Then I will create this pattern on part 2. For creating this pattern, I will use bias and I will use double bias. It means that from the middle of each edge, the size of elements can decrease or increase. Here, from the middle to the left and right side, the size of elements is increased. The minimum size is 2 here and the maximum size is 10 here. I go back to the abacus to create this mesh pattern. I create a copy of part 1 and I name it part 2. I go to the mesh module. I delete the previous mesh and I want to use Seed Edges tool. I choose all of the edges and I use double bias. The minimum size is 2 and the maximum size is 10. But I must flip the direction of bias. Here you can see that from the middle of the edge to the left and right sides, the size of elements is decreased. But I want the increase of the size of elements. So I must flip bias. All of the edges are selected. Now From the middle of the edge to the left and right side, the size of elements is increased. The second pattern is created. Now I go back to the slides. For creating the third pattern, I create a copy from part 2 and I name it part 3. And I will create pattern 3 by using partitions and I will use single bias. I go to abacus to create this mesh pattern.
I delete the previous mesh and I delete the previous seeds. I will use this tool. By using this tool, you will create the lines of partitions and then the part is partitioned. I create the first line and I create the second line. Now the part is divided into several partitions. I select all of the edges and I use single bias and I select the edges that the direction of bias must be changed. The third pattern is created. I go back to the slides. For creating the fourth pattern, I create a copy from part 3 and I name it part 4. Then I must remove the previous partitions for creating new partitions. This is the previous partition and I will remove it for creating the new partitions. I will create these partitions. This is the setting of the seeds of some of the edges. And this is the setting of seeds of some of the other edges. 10 elements must be created on these edges and 15 elements must be created on these edges. And then I want to have quad elements in all of the regions and the medial axis algorithm will be used. I go to the abacus to create fourth pattern. I delete the previous partitions and I want to create new partitions. These lines have the same length. So I will use the equal length constraint. And these lines have the same length too. I use Seed Edges tool. The method must be set on by number. 15 elements.
The fourth pattern is created. I want to talk about the settings of mesh controls box. As I explained before, we can use quadrilateral elements and triangular elements on 2D domains. And this is another option that most of the elements are quadrilateral elements and some of them are triangular elements. Uh, if we use this setting, we will have a combination of the quadrilateral elements and triangular elements. And most of the elements are quadrilateral. I go back to the slides. I create a copy from part 4 and I name it part 5 for creating the fifth pattern. And I will delete the previous partitioning. This is the partitioning pattern of fifth mesh pattern. And then for meshing this region, I will use medial axis algorithm and all of the elements are quadrilateral. And for meshing this region, I will use advancing front algorithm and most of the elements are quadrilateral. And the size of elements on this edge is 2. And finally, we will have the fifth pattern. I go to the abacus to create the fifth pattern. I delete the previous seats Here we have the fifth mesh pattern. I go back to the slides. By using the Abacus Mesh Modules tools, you can define various kinds of mesh patterns. According to the specifications of a problem, a mesh pattern must be chosen and used in the problem. Caution! In some problems, different patterns may arise as a good choice. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp or sending email to me. We have several kinds of services, including one-on-one -on -one tutoring and the AnyDesk WhatsApp and making special videos to your order. And we can perform high quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Thank you so much. Goodbye.